I just want to make this quick video. Um, I was having a problem with my 98. It's a 98 Jeep Cherokee. And uh, it's been overheating. Uh, so I went on the forums and changed the coolant, did a, did a, um, you know, did a flush, changed the thermostat, cleaned out the whole system. And this morning I went to work, it was the first hot day, and it, it, the car overheated on me. And this is what I found. I went to change the water pump, and this is what was inside of the old water pump. Um, the impeller is totally gone. If you see the new water pump over here, this is what it's supposed to look like. It's like that. And this is what I got. The water pump wasn't making any noise. It wasn't leaking. It showed no no other signs of the you know the fact that it was overheating. Uh, when I went on a forum, a lot of guys had said, you know, the water pump's fine unless it's unless it's leaking or unless it's you know it's squealing. Never had an issue, never made a sound. But as you can see, I had nothing on this water pump. The only sign I had was this winter, my heat wasn't working, and um, you know I thought it was the you know I thought it was going to be the uh, the heater core, and I was kind of like you know I was bumming. I didn't want to have to change that. But I guess that was what it was. There was really no water flow. So I've been driving probably for at least the last eight months with really no water flow. And the engine wasn't overheating. It's just these last couple of days when it started getting hot that it showed. So uh, just want to throw it out there just so you know. You know, if you have an overheating problem with a Cherokee, um, change your water pump. It's worth it. It might be, uh, might be the impeller. I don't know where these fins went. <laughs> but, uh, but that was it. All right.